You know, I've, I've had a long history with uh, Livingston County, believe it or not, uh, in Marge's district. Uh, I was born in Rochester and uh, spent the, had always spent a lot of time in Monroe County. Down in Spaden County, I can't tell you a number of high school games that my kids participated in. We, we lived in Honeyway and uh, went to Honeyway Central School. And of course, Livingston County. I've been coming to Livingston County since I've been 16 years of age, which is a while ago. And uh, after high school basketball games, we used to drive over to Geneseo to go to Pontillo's for pizza. And I gotta tell you, at that time, that was a long drive to go for pizza. Uh, Honey, I didn't have a pizza shop. Uh, but having said that, lots of fond memories uh, with Livingston County, specifically in, in Geneseo here. Uh, you know, it's it just uh, the most fond memory I have is, is representing Livingston County and the state of Summit. Back when I first uh, was elected back in 2000, I represented all of Ontario County, except for one town, Victor, uh, all of uh, Yates County, and then three towns in Livingston County, Sparta, Dansville, and Springwater. Now, Lowell Conrad will tell you that the reason that I got elected to the State Assembly was because of Livingston County. <laughs> and I won by a whopping 10 votes. <laughs> and I, I haven't disagreed with Lowell since then, and I'm not going to in the future. I, I really am quite fortunate to be standing in front of you today, uh, having been elected uh, back in 2000. So today I stand in front of you as uh, the Republican leader in the State Assembly, welcoming uh, Marge Burns to the State Assembly. Now, I did not know Marge before she ran for the State Assembly. You know, the toughest thing that I have in my job as being the leader of the Assembly, besides being the representative for the 131st Assembly District, is I'm actively involved in overseeing all of our campaigning activities all across the state. And, you know, this year uh, was a challenging year, as uh, we can all attest to. Uh, but our conference, the Assembly Republican Conference, is welcoming, uh, in a week and a half, 90 members, uh, which includes Marge, uh, to the State Assembly. Uh, we actually took four seats back from the other side. Unfortunately, we lost two, but we still had a winning record and increased our, our presence in Albany. But one of the first things that came to my mind uh, with Marge or anybody else is, what do you all want to run for the State Assembly for? Because it's a tough job. You're in the minority. Way, we've been in the minority. Last time Republicans were in the majority was back in Watergate. In the State Assembly. That goes back to this. And our numbers have fluctuated up and down ever since then uh, due to redistricting, which we uh, don't get to control our lines, which is always a challenge. And the, this district that Marge is going to be representing after the first of the year has changed, as you can tell, uh, going back uh, 20 years and, and time before that. In fact, Judge Wesley, when I was in the town of Richmond, honey, I was a town supervisor, and uh, Dick Wesley was my assembly. And I rode my very first parade with Dick Wesley. Uh, it was a Memorial Day parade over in Honey and I'll, I'll never uh, forget that. I think that was the first time I sat side by side with a judge, you know, a vegetable judge as well. But it is a great privilege to be a state legislator. We take a lot of flack, some well-deserved, some not. And it's a tough job for the everyday man and woman, child that, uh, that we represent to really sort of grasp what we do all day and when we go to all day. And Senator Galvin mentioned the budget and there's many other pieces of legislation that we take up. Uh, but the most important thing, and the most important thing I always say to our members, current and new and future, is remember one thing. It's the people that sent you to Albany is you who you should care most about. And everything I've heard about Marge prior to my meeting with her was that's what Marge's number one priority is, is the district that she wants to represent. And that's the most important trait. And I can tell you that you saw the Republican conference not once, <coughs> Uh, and I've been leader now for nine years, uh, going on the next two, is that I have never asked a member of our conference ever to vote along a party line vote on anything that comes before them in the state legislature. They're there to represent their district. In Marge's case, to represent you. And I know from everything I've heard and I've gotten to know Marge in, in the coming weeks since the election, <coughs> That, that she's every bit of part of her priority to the people that actually sent her 
gobble. And I think it's great that her family can share this day with her today. You know, last time we, we did a kind of an unofficial tally in the history of New York State, there's been a little over 5,000 people that have served in the state legislature in our entire state history. Think about that. Only 5,000 people in a matter of millions of people that have lived, worked uh, in our great state. So it is a significant accomplishment. And I always say never underestimate uh, the power of the minority. We're a voice. I, I, I just use one example. Property tax cap, that was an assembly Republican <coughs> policy idea that we put forward that eventually became adopted into law. And there's a lot of other ideas that have become adopted into law that started with the assembly Republican conference. It's a conference of ideas. It's a conference of debate. It's a conference of voting your conscience. We talk about the SAFE Act. Uh, we held over eight hours of debate on the floor of the assembly on that bill. And then we went and cast a vote in our conscience. We may have been outvoted, ladies and gentlemen, but we, aren't, we weren't outfought. We weren't outdebated because we believe in the values and principles that make our state great. And yes, we have to deal with New York City. It's part of our state. It is one New York. And they have a whole different agenda that one exists in our surrounding areas and upstate. And that's why we need people that are willing to stand up, speak up, and fight for a voice that needs to be heard for the future of all of us. Our kids, our grandkids, um, it's a critical voice that needs to be heard. And Marge Burns has demonstrated that she's willing to stand up and speak up. And I think you have elected a great representative that will represent all of you and the entire 133rd Assembly District going forward. And today I just want to say thank you to be invited to speak on, the, on behalf of our conference. Uh, we are welcoming Marge Burns with open arms. We look forward to working with her on behalf of her district and what her priorities are, which are your priorities uh, going forward. And it is just a great day and that's why we should all, I know it's, it's tough sometimes to listen to some of the speeches, uh, but it's important. And hopefully Marge will remember this day and her family will remember this day. Because it's a moment to be proud of. She worked hard. She had lots of uh, campaign support. Uh, you've heard from a couple of those folks today that are believers. You know, that's what makes a difference, quite frankly. If you want to be an elected representative, you have to be a representative of the people if you want to stay there and do a good job. So today, I couldn't be more proud to join each and every one of you, especially Marge and her family and her supporters. Uh, to me, this is the fun part. And uh, on January 9th, we're, we're having a, a, a ceremonial swearing-in ceremony in uh, Albany, uh, where our new members can invite their family and friends to put that swearing as well. It's uh, one of those moments where you have to just really take a pause and reflect. And each and every one of you today, you're as much part of this celebration for Marge as it is for Marge and her family itself. So just take a moment and pause and reflect that you are here on this day, December 28th, in Genesee, the Genesee of Livingston County, celebrating the election of a woman that has demonstrated integrity, discipline, hard work, and those are the quality and elements I think we want in any one of our representatives, regardless where they live. So ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure Thank you for your patience and, and listening. And most importantly, Marge, congratulations. Yes, <laughs> and we'll see you all. Thank you.